TypingMind supports multiple LLM models, ranging from closed source to open source models. If you want to try these open source models, while still enjoying TypingMind's great UI, just follow this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to access open source or local models on TypingMind using the LMS Studio app. So what is the LMS Studio app? It's a desktop app that lets you experiment with both local and open source large language models. All right, let's get started. First, head over to lmstudio.ai and download LMS Studio for your device. Pick the right version for your device and download it. After it finishes downloading, run the .dmg file. If you're using a Mac, move it to the Applications folder, then launch the app to get started. Once you're in the app, you'll start by searching for models that the app supports. Just find the model you need, say Phi 3, and then click to download it to your device. It'll take some minutes to finish downloading. To use the model on TypingMind, you'll need to set up a local server. This means the model will run on your own device. So go to Local Server, and from the top drop-down list, select the model you just downloaded. In the Configuration section, enable all the options. For an explanation of each toggle, just hover over them. Next, click Start Server. Your local server is now running. You should see a confirmation message once the server is up. That wraps up the LMS Studio app part. Next, over to TypingMind. Go to typingmind.com, then to Manage Models, and Add Custom Models. You'll need to update the following information to set up the LMS Studio models, like the Phi 3 Mini 4K I downloaded earlier. Enter the name and icon URL. For the endpoint, you can find it in the server log in the LMS Studio app. The model ID is also in the server log. The context length, as mentioned right in the model name, is 4K. Click the Test button to check if it connects properly. And there you have it. You've successfully set up a local model on TypingMind. Now go ahead and have a chat with the AI. If you found this helpful, please subscribe for more content. And if there's any tutorial you'd like to see next, let me know in the comments.